And what if we've got a beam that's stuck between two walls? Does this sound, look familiar, right? But now instead of a force, we've got a, twi a torsional moment. We've got a torsional moment. Let's say, let's say we apply a 100 Newton meter moment right there. Right, if we apply a 100 Newton meter moment right here, then at the walls, we've got TA and we've got TB at the walls. And so from statics, and just from looking at it, really from summing the moments equal to zero, do you see that the TA plus the TB are gonna add up to 100? But I don't know if it's, is it 50-50? Is it 60-40? Statics doesn't give us enough information. So what are we gonna do? Compatibility, yes. Compat uh, maybe there's an A somewhere. Right there. Uh, so any guesses on our compatibility equation or something? Not stress. I mean, what was our last topic? Angle, right? Think about the angle of twist, right? And instead of what we do, what did we do for axial? We would say FL over EA plus FL over EA, you know, adds up to zero or something. How about the angle of twist? The angle of twist, if this twists, you know, if the angle of twist of section AC, and, and they're all different, but I would say that the angle of twist of section AC plus the angle of twist of section BC has to add up to zero. If these walls are really solid, large walls compared to this uh, beam that are not going to deform, not going to move, then if I twisted it, you know, one degree this way and then another negative, right, it would need to come back, it would add up to zero <coughs> in this case. So sometimes they add up to zero, sometimes they're the same, Sometimes there's kind of a gap type of problem that we'll do. So same idea. Statics doesn't give us enough. I need a compatibility. So just ask yourself, what can I say about the angles of twist of each of these sections? So in this section, it would add up to zero. So the TL over GJ of that section plus the TL over GJ of that section would equal zero. Let's, let's look at this and let's do this one. What is the torque inside section AC? Well, let, let's cut it. Let me throw this away. The way that I drew it, so you're gonna dr sometimes draw your TA and TB. You're gonna guess what it's doing at the wall. And sometimes you might guess the wrong way. And if you guess the wrong way, your answer will come out negative. But stick with the way you guess. All right, so I guess that way. So what is my, internal torque inside this section it would be ta coming the other way right it would be ta coming the other what is that that would be a positive positive ta the way that i drew that so, so i would have a positive ta right here all right how about section cb uh, i'm going to come from the other direction whoops erase too much let me come from the other direction to find the internal torque inside section TB. So I cut it right there. What do I need? Right there, I need a TB to come back that way. But I've cut it and I've thrown that away. So I'm kind of, I need to kind of go keep my head back around the back side of that cut. But if I have TB, if I need, if I need a TB going back that way, on this cut, look, here's the cut, right? If, if everybody's looking at the front boards, this is the orientation. I cut it right here, here's the cut, and I need a TB coming back this way, then my thumb is pointed into, so that would be a negative TB for that section. Okay, that would be a negative 
this would be minus TB right here. And so then this equation and that equation, maybe plug you know, one into the other to solve for your two unknowns. Two unknowns are TA and TB. Right? Two unknowns are TA and TB. Okay, let's, 